So you're thinking about moving into the university district, but you want to know what the pros and the cons are about living in that particular area. Well, in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to cover. So stick around because we have a lot more for you. Hello everyone. My name is Ryan Hawkins and I'm a local realtor here in Calgary, Alberta. We're here on this channel. I'll take you through different Calgary communities and different properties and keep you up to date with what is happening in the Calgary real estate market. If that is something that you're interested, make sure that you like and subscribe. Today, we're going to be going over the pros and cons of the university district. The university district is a new community that is combining both retail, residential, office, dining, parks, and natural scenery. And there are a lot of benefits to living in the university district, but there's also some cons as well. We're going to be starting off on a high note with the pros and then ending off with the cons. Pro number one of the university district is the transportation. The community is very close and tight knit and is easily walkable for a lot of the community. But also the university district is great for cars as it is close to major roadways such as Shaganapi Trail and 16th Avenue, also known as the number one highway. But if you're someone that doesn't have a car and you prefer to take public transport, there is a bus route directly in the university district that will take you directly to Brentwood Station and is a total of an eight minute commute just to the station. From there, you can access the rest of the city. And this brings us to pro number two, which is great connectivity. Now, this doesn't just only mean just by getting to access to the rest of the city, but also just what is nearby as well. While many new communities do struggle to connect it to the rest of the city, the university district so far has been making sure that that is accessible to everyone. Some jobs that are close by for professionals are going to be the Children's Hospital, Foothills Hospital, and the University of Calgary. And on top of all that, you do have Market Mall, which is kitty corner to the community just in the Northwest. Which brings us to pro number three, which is all amenities are close by. The community features amenities such as grocery stores, fitness, dining, retail, and as mentioned before, Market Mall is just kitty corner to the community. So if you can't find what you need within the University District, you'll be able to find it within Market Mall. With all the amenities being close by pro number four is that the community is walkable. The community is featuring housing in only apartments and townhomes, which means there's a lot of high density within the community, making a lot of it compact and tight knit and easily accessible to all people. On top of that, they have a lot of pathways to be able to access a lot of the parks. So if you're someone who doesn't like to drive or doesn't have the access to a car, then this community would be great for you because it is walkable to near transportation and all amenities nearby. Which brings us to our last pro, which is that the community is a mix of both busy and quiet. What I mean by this is, is that you're not sacrificing the lifestyle of being downtown, but also you're not having the in your face lifestyle of downtown either. The university district is compact and has a lot going on for it. On the busy side of things, you do have great dining in the area and the ability to take part in the community events, such as the farmer's market that pops up every year and to be able to skate on the public ice service in Central Commons Park. But on the flip side, you do have the quiet part of it, which is the ability to go to all the other parks, such as the North Pond, which that features a dog park, and even just Central Common Parks just to sit down and read a book or use some of the public barbecues that they have there as well. So it does provide a lot of that natural scenery, but without that lifestyle of being in the suburbs where it's too quiet. Moving on to the cons and con number one is that there are limited housing options. As I said before, a lot of the housing in the area is going to be apartments and townhomes. So if you're someone that desires to have a bigger house or a larger lot, then the university district probably isn't going to be the community for you. The entire community is built on high density. So if you're someone that likes that privacy or not a whole lot of interaction with your neighbors, university district is going to be hard for you to live in as you're going to run into your neighbors quite a bit and a lot of other community members. Con number two is that the community is actually quite pricey in terms of housing. At the current moment, resale value for a townhouse is going for about $618,000 and apartments in the mid and high rise area for a two bedroom is going for an average of $465,000. Now there are pre-construction opportunities as well with condos starting in the 300 thousands and townhouses starting in the low 600 thousands. Now that is quite a bit of a pricey start, especially for someone who maybe want to be looking for something a little bit bigger. And also there aren't very many three bedroom options. So if you're someone that can't justify spending $600,000 for a townhouse, then the university district just isn't going to be for you because you're going to be spending a lot more money for a lot less room. With the area being apartments and townhouses only, that means that you're going to be paying condo fees. Now, while there are a lot of benefits to condo fees, there are also a lot of negatives that come with condo fees as well. And one of them is that
that condo fees can rise. And if you're someone who's already on a tight budget with your mortgage and property taxes, condo fees rising on you might put you in a bit of a hole. And that's not something that we would like to see. Con number four is that the community isn't gonna be very good for large families. Now, what I mean by large families is probably anything over four people in one home. Now with that, you're most likely gonna be in a town home because I imagine four people in one condo, it can be quite tight. So if you have a growing family that is growing quite rapidly, then you're gonna find it tough to be in the university district because at some point you're definitely gonna demand a lot more room and the university district unfortunately just doesn't offer that. And finally, the last con of the university district, and I say this about every new construction project out there, is that it is a construction site. At the current moment, they are building the north side of the children's hospital and getting all that work done first before they move on to the south side. But with a new construction community, there's always going to be some type of construction around at all times, whether that be cranes, building noises, trucks coming by, dusty, things like that, that's always going to be there until the community is complete. And if you're someone who would rather live in someone a little bit more quiet and a little bit more peaceful, then you're not gonna enjoy the university district. But if you can wait it out and enjoy what the university district already has, then the area can be perfect for you. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video about the pros and cons of the university district here in Calgary. If you wanna know more about the university district and would like to see a full tour of the area, then I have a full community tour of the university district down in the description. You can check that out right after this video. And if you are ready to buy or sell here in Calgary, I do have a couple of buyer and seller guides available for you. Those are also down in the description and you can check those out. But until then, I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Take care.